going through a uh, really interesting time in our province and our country right now. The energy issue is probably the top issue, certainly in the province, one of the top issues in the country. And I think uh, the discussion has become way too polarized. Um, I don't think um, it's a decision between oil and gas or renewables. I think it's an and. We could be pursuing oil and gas development and renewable energy development. You know, and my company alone uh, has been responsible for uh, attracting more than a billion dollars of investment into renewables in Alberta. Uh, we're currently working on uh, the largest solar energy project in the country, one of the largest in the world, right here in the heart of oil country. When I say we should be pursuing oil and gas and renewable energy development, uh, it, 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 it's, it's mainly, um, you know, mainly an economic consideration. And that's really the tension is that um, you can't just shut down our economy for the sake of addressing climate change. Um, climate change ultimately is, a, is an issue for the environment, but if you really boil it down, it's an issue for the economy. It's, you know, what's, what's the cost of climate change? What's the cost of absorbing, uh, you know, the potential for climate refugees and dealing with these natural catastrophes that happen? It, it all has an economic cost. It also has an economic cost to simply uh, abandon certain portions of our economy. So uh, we have to find the right measured approach. It is unreasonable to expect that we're simply going to shut off the taps and uh, replace it all with renewables because that can't happen and it's not uh, fair and just for all the people that are working in the sector today and whose families and livelihoods uh, rely on it. And oil, the reality is oil is still being consumed in the world. And while oil is uh, still being consumed in the world, I think it should be Canadian oil, it should be Alberta oil. I think we should be you know, at the top of the list. Uh, but we also have to be aware of the changes in the world and we have to diversify our economy. Uh, you know, Alberta is one of the best places in the world to live. Calgary was just named, I think, the number five place, uh, most livable city in the world uh, by The Economist magazine. I think if people understand that we're all on the same side, we're all on the side of Alberta, we're all on the side of Canada, I, uh, I think that will go a long way. I think uh, the voices in the middle are the ones that are going to truly solve this problem in a way that's going to get the world to where we need to be.